All right, so you're trying to make money in school, but don't know where to start? I got you. This way to make money in school is by selling snacks. So you gotta first start off with tip number one is by picking your product. You gotta pick your product. You have a variety of snacks that we go from. You could start off with chips, drinks, cookies, candy, chocolate, lollipops, all of that. You could even do homemade food like burritos. You bring tacos. You could bring lunchables. You could bring whatever type of snack that you want. But we first gotta start off with a good product. Go with something simple. My two money makers that I use every day are chips and drinks. That's it, simple as that. What do you want? Have chips and have drinks. Of some easy, simple, and very profitable are these chips right here. So it's 30 bags of flaming hot chips. And the very good part about these is that they're right here. They're like bigger bags, supposedly 30 chips for bigger bags. You know, you have two ounces, one, one and third, four ounce, one, one, four ounce. You have all of these. Then right here, you have eight hot Cheetos, six hot fries, six Doritos, six hot Cheetos, lime. And then you have Funyuns too. And these are the sizes of the bags. This is compared to my hand right here. So look, for these two, we're looking at the two ounce bags. And then for the hot fries, we're looking at one and three fourths of an ounce. And then for the Doritos Flamin' Hot, they are one and three fourths of an ounce. And then for the uh, Funyuns, we're looking at one and one fourth of an ounce. So pretty, so it's pretty good product right here, you know? They got big bags. And these, you could usually find them in your local, like this box, you could usually find it in your local Sam's. Costco, Extra Final, your Dulceria, all of that. And the price is gonna differ from various stores, but I hit up usually Sam's Club for my chips and drinks. So like for this bag right here, we're looking at, for the 30 pack, we're usually looking at like $14 after taxes and all that. So $14 for a pack of 30, that runs you like 47 cents a bag each. You could easily sell them for like a dollar and you make good money off of them you're roughly making your 15 16 dollars a box and if you take one or two boxes a day that is completely perfect right there and then if you want to sell like like stuff on the side with the chips usually like lemon chamoy drinks i like to sell this bad boy right here the capri sun these so how i get these is 10 uh 10 juices in a box and then the box it comes with four different boxes and these are the 40 these are the 10 juices that come in one box so it's four of these boxes so you get 40 of these and then the price for these we're looking at for a pack of 40 juices they can relative they're relatively like eight to nine dollars so you if you sell them for like a dollar you can make your 40 dollars if you sell them for 50 cents you can make like 20 depending on how you look at it but yeah they're good they're perfect well, people usually complain when you sell them hot juices so you want to keep them cold and this is you want to have them cold because if you sell them hot juice people usually get mad and you don't want you don't want people complaining you know but a second thing that's better about selling juices is them things are heavy simple product those chips those drinks those things will sell out quick and then next up on the list you got to pick the right backpack because no matter how good your product is you cannot get caught selling chips so you need to pick the right backpack so for the first backpack that i usually like to recommend is my coach saddle bag that i use every day for the fact that it just has these two magnets boom pop them off it's kind of hard doing one hand and boom it's relatively big this can fit between 25 to 30 juices i like using the saddle just because of the like how simple and effective it is to use them and plus it's like really light and then this is how i look with the bag it's simple i just pop it open boom boom what you want you want some juices give them a juice bam close it up one two and boom go on your day with the saddle every day juices just just i like to use this one just for juices because it's carry easy to carry and good to go and this is my bag for when i sell chips this one is pretty simple it's just uh, it's pretty light as you can see uh, and then for this one it's just I like to use one entrance so you open it right here and boom what's up what you know about that what you want you want hot cheetos you got hot fries you see we got funions right there right here we have doritos and hot fries cheetos doritos and so we have all of our stuff there and then usually if if i take like smaller stuff like snacks like cookies, airheads, chocolate. I just like to put them right there. 
And this is how I look like with my bag, you know, a Nike little bag. I run it this way. And if you're selling, I like to boom, you know, you want chips? I open the sleeve, bam, boom, pop it open, what you want, hot cheeto, bam, you know, good to go. And then you zip it up, close it up, boom, and you're on your way to go. This one relatively fits me between 30 to 35 bags of chips every day with a bottle of chamoy or limon, regular backpack. This one, if I'm selling chips, I need to have my backpack in front of me. So I put my backpack in front of me and my school one behind me. This one is usually just a bit harder since you gotta open it and then give everybody the chips. It's not that bad. The only thing is it's not a duffel bag. It's another backpack and mm, it works. Trust me, it works but I could fit more in the duffel bag than the backpack. And I feel like it's more simple to carry a duffel bag since it goes on your side. You open your head, look around, bag, you're done. This one, uh, well, since it has the handle right here and the handle right here for a backpack, you gotta carry it like this all the time. And it looks more suspicious and we're trying to be less suspicious. You have this one right here, the big bad duffel bag right here. I'm thinking it's a duffel bag, it's like a briefcase, bro. This one is amazing for the fact that you have three big components. You have one right here on the side, and then right here on top, you have the opening, the main entrance, and then you have one right here. for the pros and cons about that big ass duffel bag. Cause yeah, the pros easily, you gonna make a crap ton of money, bro. Like there's, there's no lying. That is gonna make you a lot of money. That one in particular, this big old big duffel bag easily. I can fit three boxes of chips. That's roughly 90 bags of chips. You could fit 90 bags of chips. You could fit like 40 Capri Suns. You could fit like 30 candies all together. Uh, your bottle of chamoy, limon, napkins, everything. You can easily make over 200 to 250 with that bag right there easily you can make a lot of money and a lot of profit part about it though the cons it is way too suspicious like every class that you're gonna walk into that thing is out of place it feels like you have care you're carrying more than like your clothes because no kid is gonna be walking on every day with a big ass duffel bag for no reason like your clothes <laughs> that shit's carrying more than clothes is what i'm trying to say and then the other bad part, then it already looking suspicious, is that it doesn't have like a thing to carry. So you're not as mobile. This one, you gotta grab it. And as you're grabbing it and then they want some chips, you gotta like place it on the floor, open it up, um, open it up, zip, unzip it. And then in that time that you're doing that, the security, anybody could just come up and just like, like get your ass caught. So like, it's very suspicious and then it's very hard to be mobile. This is pros and cons. I like to just use this one mainly for chips. I use this one on a daily basis. It's easy, simple. And then if I need juices, I use this one every day, simple. I could just carry all of them all day, everyday use. And then for like this blue one, I usually carry it every day too, but not with me. I leave it in my car. So if I need to go restock, I just leave my other two bags in the car, bring this one and we're good to go. So. And all in all, every bag has its purpose. That big ass one, I have no idea what I could use it for because that thing is gonna get me caught the minute I walk straight through security. Like security could be cool, but the ones that are like, like, like fucked up are the administrators. Those people, te van a caer de volada. That's the scary part. So every single bag has its use, you pick whichever you need best. Number three that I could give my raza that's watching out there, you gotta post on social media, bro. Snapchat, Instagram, post who you are, what you have, and how much it is. That's it. Tell people chips, drinks, uh, who do you look like, or how do you look like? Just be like red duffel bag, Nike. How much, a dollar, everything, boom. You got to have people know who you are because how are people gonna know who you are, what you have, how much you have, or how much? It is, if they don't even know who you are. So just start off with Snapchat. Post, uh, I have chips and drinks. And then just post what type of chips and drinks you have. And then you should go post something like this or like that. 
that like this that is the end of the video my raza if you guys enjoyed the video and if you learned a thing or two smashing the like button and subscribing help me grow to 100 subscribers is my goal help me out help me out and if any administrators are watching this just know uh that it's not it's not me <laughs> <laughs>